we're looking at uh, MRI of the shoulder again and how to assess it. And this is the second part of a series on MRI of the uh, long head of biceps tendon. And in this one, we're looking at the MRI appearance of tendinosis and tenosynovitis. Uh, this was part of a webinar that was done with um, Hitachi Medical Systems uh, in Singapore. In this video, we're concentrating on the MRI appearance of tendinosis and tenosynovitis, but in the subsequent video, we'll look also at the MRI appearance of uh, tears and ruptures of the biceps tendon. Let's talk first about tendinosis and tenosynovitis. And again, you can, we're talking about biceps tendon, but you can apply the same things to virtually every tendon in the, in the body. What do we look for? So we said that normal is black, well-defined, and it has a certain size. Tendinosis, this is a, a patient who's got tendinosis. This is a PD fat set. This is a PD. Increased signal, increased size, and it's ill-defined. It's not that really nice, sharp edges that you would see in a normal tendon. The signal is important, okay? So we're calling this intermediate signal. Uh, why is that? Because if you look at the joint space, this is fluid. Fluid is really bright. Tendinosis is not as bright as fluid. It is an intermediate signal. So when we see this intermediate signal, we're gonna call it tendinosis. If we see a signal as bright as this, or so fluid type signal, we will call it a tear. Sorry, let me just, what have I done? Yeah, okay, so what about tenosynovitis? So we said that it's normal to have a little bit of joint fluid. Tenosynovitis can be uncomplicated in the sense that there's just more fluid in that biceps tendon sheath, or you can actually get inflammatory changes and in, uh, actual synovitis where we get altered signals. So let's look at this image. The orange arrow is pointing to normal signal within the biceps tendon sheet, so it should be bright. But what we see in other areas is this intermediate signal that's filling the tendon sheet. And again, here, so it's a PD fat set, here's a PD. We've got intermediate signal there. So this is inflammatory change, this is a synovitis. So normal fluid, this is a, a tenosynovitis, and this is the synovitis. So if you gave contrast, there's no need to give contrast, but if you gave contrast, you would expect that this region would enhance, this would not enhance, the margins might enhance, but this would enhance because it's inflammatory tissue. Okay, so let's look at a, a couple of cases. Okay, so if we, if we look at this scan here, this has got a, a very typical appearance of um, severe tendinosis. And what we're going to look at is this portion where it goes between being intra and extra articular. And as I said, that's a, a very common spot to get tendinosis. So if we look at this scan here, here's the biceps tendon, intra-articular portion. It's hyper intense. Remember, it should be black, ill-defined, and it's, it's thick, it's really big. Okay, so let's keep going back and again here. So here we're starting to get to some normal sort of size, but it's still big and it's still hyper intense. So the key thing here is the fact that it's hyper intense, but it's not the hyper intensity of fluid. This is a, a, tenos, this is a tendinosis. So you would say that there is a severe tendinosis of the uh, biceps tendon at the uh, portion just proximal to the, uh, the intra-articular portion just proximal to the, the biceps, um, to the bicepital groove. Let's look at a, a different case. Okay. Um, so let, let's have a look at this. This is uh, an, another patient with tendinosis and tenosynovitis. So we have, let's, let's look at this image to begin with. We've got Increased fluid within the tendon sheet. So this is more the this is more than you would expect. Again, there's no measurement for it. It's subjective. So then you need to go and look at the joint space. Is there is there a joint effusion? Well, there's no joint effusion here. So it's not that fluid from the joint is coming down into the into the tendon sheet. So we do have increased fluid in keeping with tenosynovitis, but we also have 
a differential in signal. So here's the normal fluid signal, here's the intermediate signal, which is still within the tendon sheath. So this is inflammatory tissue uh, synovitis within the biceps tendon sheath. If we look at the tendon itself, we have a tendon that's hyper intense. It's ill-defined, looks a little bit bigger, not as big as the one before. Um, so this is in keeping with tendinosis, maybe some minor partial tearing here because we've got some high signal, but we're gonna look at partial, we're gonna look at tears in the, in, in the next case. So this is uh, basically tendinosis and tenosynovitis.